Good evening. New York public schools that refuse to get rid of their Native American mascots risk losing their state funding. Now, leaders in the Iroquois district are taking a closer look at this. Tonight, the district says they plan to listen to concerns from Native American nations and wait for additional guidance from the state before making any changes. Our Tara Lynch is just back from the school board meeting tonight in Elma. Tara. Well, Jackie and Dave, Iroquois schools say they need to listen and learn from all parties involved to make the best decision for the district. Iroquois Central is among a handful of districts that must commit to changing their team nickname, logo, and mascot by the end of this school year. Many Iroquois board members and the superintendent say the November memo from the State Department of Education about this topic was vague and didn't include key details, such as who would pay to make these changes. Many residents were concerned that by removing the Iroquois chief's name and logo, the history of the Iroquois would be lost. We have to listen and learn. We have to become more knowledgeable. We have to be knowledgeable what the state is looking for and the process of what they're looking for has to be accomplished. I can't sit up here as a white male and tell you what it feels like to be a Native American male and see those words or those images. We didn't just pick this name out of the air. I mean, it's intrinsically linked with the people that resided on this land before we were here. If schools do not agree to make these changes, they are risking the removal of school officers, including the superintendent, or the withholding of state aid. Faced with these possible penalties, Iroquois says it does plan to follow the New York State regulations. District officials say they hope to receive more guidance from the State Department of Education early next year. For now in studio, Tara Lynch, News 4.